Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. Today I wanted to show one of the tools that I can't live without, and that is Google Earth. Now, one of the mistakes that we made was we didn't have a really good solid planting plan or plan of operation. So I want to show you kind of how I use Google Earth to you know, plan my planting, how many numbers, and just an overall farm strategy. And it's pretty neat to be able to do this just from the air. So let's get into it here, zoom into our farm. So here is our farm. We have the barn area and kind of all the field. Our property, like I've said before, is 83 acres and it goes here and back and over and down all the way to the road and around. And plantable is kind of this area with some ponds and the parking and stuff like that. Um, with Google Earth, you know, it's an amazing tool, so we can kind of go back in history here. So we'll go here. So let's go through some of this. Let's go back to the phase one, as I call it. 1998. Huh? So this is as far back as we can go on uh, Google Earth, but the house was built in, I think, 97, 96, 97. And what do we see? We see all these piles right some trees still standing here but um you know the property my dad brought the property in 83 so a little over 10 years um my grandfather and his brother they planted kind of all the land uh over i think three to four years and they had lots of scotch pine and they basically overplanted because they didn't they didn't sell enough um so Lesson number one is, you know, kind of have a plan of what you can actually do. I know my dad was disappointed about this as well because it, one of his famous sayings now is, I've cut and burned more trees than I'll ever sell, and it, it's it's stuck, it's sticking with him. So um, lessons, lessons learned here. So we kind of go through the years here. We started replanting, and we have some trees kind of coming in here in 05. Or December 2011, you know, more scotch pine in here. We started over. That's a good one here. We kind of, we see our fur coming in. 13, 15. So, fast forwarding to, you know, today. This is all planted now. And what we've done is we've, put together a plan that we are going to block plant and move the customers around the farm in a controlled way that we want to. So a good way to kind of estimate how you can do your planting is we'll take kind of this area here, which we're going to plant over the next five years. We're going to use this ruler. We're going to say a polygon tool, and we're going to kind of draft it out here. So mark it out. here over something about like that and that's what we kind of guess is about 10 acres we plan on um, planting about two acres every year so this field area will be planted over the next five years this is kind of a drainage uh, ditch not really a deep creek or anything but kind of a shallow grassway I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna handle that yet but uh, I think that's probably you know, two or three years down the road that we'll deal with. Um, so now we have acreage, and if we get a calculator, we can count how many trees we can fit in those 10 acres. can't pull it up right now to show you on the screen but you know there's what 43,560 square feet in an acre so 43560 times 10 
equals, you know, 435. And then you divide by your spacing. So we do 7 by 6. Uh, so divide by 42. And that would be about 10,300 trees. Again, divided by 5 for 5 years. And it's a little over 2,000 trees and trees a year, which is kind of on par with our plan of, uh, you know, selling 2,500. So this is just going to be fur, but, you know, we're going to have spruce and couple different varieties as well um i think it's important to kind of have that plan and kind of start with the end and, and how you how you're going to achieve these things and how you're going to control the customer flow because if you just open up everything the customers are going to take your best trees and then they're going to be kind of left um you know how to mess with the ones that are left over so we actually take snow fence and rope off areas of the field where we don't want people to cut and i think that's very important and very helpful also using it as a competitor analyst tool you know we can zoom out to different farms here sorry this is urquhart's farm and we can see the amount of trees that they have up here all in here over here so google earth as a you know tool to kind of size up your competitors they are a lot larger so if we use the same ruler here in polygon polygon and just kind of size them up yeah that land there is 85 acres that's not even including this bunch up here another 25 so they are substantially larger than we are and could clearly sell more trees than us but one thing that's curious is how do they really control their customers right so they dropping them off and bring them over and over here you know i don't know what their plan is but that works for them it's a funny story my house is uh right in here actually is where i live another good thing you can think of when using google earth is just how you're gonna you know i don't know customer management and um, when we upgraded our tree processing area, we kind of had cars we were blending in and the whole barn area. It was kind of neat to get a bird's eye view and actually put this in Word and kind of take an image in Word and manipulate pieces and see how you can visualize how the customers can be uh, using your property and how you want to set it up. So an important thing was uh, we kind of got the idea from you know, Walt Disney World and the theme parks is you, you're you shown an empty wagon, I guess, when, when new customers arrive. So from the fields, which are all kind of this way, the treasures come in, and this is our tree processing area with the shakers and the balers and the little pay hut. And the tractor comes in and unloads, and then he pulls up, and the new people that are coming in through here, little greeter area, are loading over here. So they're not they're not coming in and out and mixing with each other. So it's it's very smooth and um, uh, it's just not a not very clustery. In the middle here we have uh, we'll have some pre cuts or we have a kind of a kids play area now and f fire pits over here. So just it's a very neat tool that you can uh, definitely utilize to um, plan your planting and just kind of get a, a good bird's eye view and how you can strategically uh, operate your business. So. I think that's it. That's something I wanted to share with you that I, I really spent a lot of time playing with Google Earth. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.